So hey there all you funny jerks, come talk to Dan about your work. Tell him all about your worst times, it's the art of bombing. We got to talk about the art of bombing, and I would love to hear your your story. And then if and and if you have one with voice acting, that would be kind of funny too to hear something if uh, if that's the thing that's happened, like an audition or something. Um, I have one for you, but uh, which one do you want first? You want the voiceover? Or you want the stand-up? Your first? choice. Your choice. The voiceover thing, and I'll I'll never forget this because I. It's a, a rule now for me that you, uh, this is why I asked you, um, I don't cuss in the studio. <laughs> so when I get behind the mic, stop it. Um, very, very early on, I was working on a project. It was so long and I did not have super great equipment to work on a, it must have been, it was 90 minutes of finished audio. Um, so just to put that in perspective for you, when you do 90 minutes, it takes about three times as long to work on something like that, to read it, record it, edit it, upload it, all that stuff. So 90 minutes is really three, it's four and a half hours of work. Like it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't have the equipment. So I, as I'm going through this, um, I just can't, fuck, God damn it, shit. You know, and like <laughs> having to edit that out, but I wasn't yet. Um, and so I wound up actually sending audio that had, fuck, damn it, oh, here we go. You know, those again. And so the client came back and was like, um, I don't think this is what you meant to send. Uh, and as I went through it again, I was like, oh, that's embarrassing. Def <laughs> so embarrassing. Definitely not what I meant to send. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I won't ever uh, learn my lesson the hard way on that one. Um, so that is my bomb for the voiceover. And then for stand up, um, it was my debut at the Irvine Improv in Southern California. And an old radio friend of mine was being on a fundraiser for cancer research, some sort of cancer research. And I got to feature, which was awesome. Um, <laughs> and uh, I had literally just found out like two days before that my dad was diagnosed with late onset MS. And I was a mess about it. And I got up there <laughs> and I started talking about like, oh, cancer, it's not a big deal. I'm like MS. And like, I was just angry as hell. And everyone's looking at me like, Oh no. It was mortifying. But I I was like, I'm just gonna finish my 15 minutes. I'm gonna get off stage. And I sat there and like my mom was in the audience, like my uncle came, like my family was there. I was like, this is awful. Like, what do you do? And so at the end of the show, I still stood out there. I stood out and like waited to like shake people's hands. And most people walked by and they were like, <laughs> saving grace, a couple of like teenage girls that walked by, they were like, you were so funny. I was like, then why didn't you laugh? Why didn't you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> so that was, uh, that was the, I'll never forget it. The worst, the, it was embarrassing, mortifying, really. Mm -hmm.